Salt Spring Primary and Junior High School students get learning devices. National Social Housing Program issues latest dwelling and Harmony Beach Park opens. You're watching Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Anthony Morgan. Economic recovery is in the best interest of labor. We must rapidly implement our highway and infrastructure construction projects, our broadband access projects, and support our businesses to return to full productivity. We must also get vaccinated as soon as vaccines are available, and it is your turn. This will ensure that we all can go back to work safely and earn an income. Prime Minister Andrew Holness as he delivered his Workers' Week and Labor Day address on Monday. He says government will be spending funds on rural farm roads to boost agricultural production and employment. Money will also be spent on vulnerable groups, micro, small and medium-sized enterprises and health resources. While he used his Labor Day message to commend the efforts of the island's workers, Mr. Holness also encouraged Jamaicans to get creative and carry out activities around their homes. I invite us to focus on cleaning up and beautifying our homes and surroundings. Last week, the Prime Minister was in St. James. On Friday, he distributed 36 tablets to students of Salt Spring Primary and Junior High. The school also received a laser printer. Prime Minister Holness urged parents and guardians to properly supervise the online activities of their children. Ensure that they are using these devices for the purpose for which they, they were given, which is to help them to access information through the internet that will advance their education. So far, 123,000 of the half a million students targeted have received learning devices. While in Salt Spring, the Prime Minister delivered a three-bedroom house to a family of 10. The $9 million home was built under the National Social Housing Program. The house is free to you. you you're not going to pay anything for it. But the house is not free. The house is paid for by taxpayers' resources. So you have an obligation, Julie, to take care of the house. To ensure that the surroundings are kept clean. That if anything breaks, you fix it as quickly as possible. And that you become an ambassador not just for the program, but for transformation. As of May 7, 29 housing units have been completed under the program, with 15 currently under construction and slated for completion in July. Friday evening, Prime Minister Holness was in the second city opening the Harmony Beach Park. This is really the people's park. The people named it. It is your park and it is free for you to access. The $1.3 billion park was developed by the Urban Development Corporation with funding from the Tourism Enhancement Fund, the IDB, and the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation. The 16-acre public beach park offers free Wi-Fi, an activity center, jogging trail, a promenade, and a multipurpose court, among other amenities. Harmony Beach Park represents the future of urban development in Jamaica. It embodies where we're going in terms of urban planning and the commitment of the government of Jamaica to introduce more green spaces in our communities. Harmony Beach Park opens to the public from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays, and 6 a.m. to noon on Sundays, which is in keeping with the COVID-19 protocols. The park offers paid parking at a cost of $200 per hour or $700 per day. And word came Saturday that an official memorial service had been accorded to the late former government minister, senator and member of parliament, Ambassador Anthony Johnson. Ambassador Johnson died on April 28 at age 82 after a period of illness. The official memorial service will take place this Thursday, May 27 at 10.30 a.m. at the St. Augustine Chapel on North Street in Kingston. The service will be carried out in keeping with the COVID-19 measures laid out in the Disaster Risk Management Act. 
Ambassador Johnson's ashes will not be present at the chapel. A private internment will take place at a later date at the Providence Methodist Church. Condolence books have been opened online at the Houses of Parliament and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. The live stream for Thursday's official memorial service will be available on the GIS's website, PBCJ and other government social media platforms. And that's it for Jamaica House Weekly. Be sure to join us next time for more of the news stories coming out of the office of the Prime Minister.